All right, everybody, today we are doing the Walrus installation video. We're gonna be able to show you how to use the Walrus for off-grid systems, solar grid tight systems, or power backups on AC regular grid systems. In regular everyday residential households, you should have a main electrical panel. You should have this in your home already set up with breakers. This is gonna be regular system. If you have solar, you're also gonna have this. This is usually what you're gonna have in your home. If we wired up one of these NEMA output ports here, this is got wired up. You might have to have an electrician do this for you, or if you're a DIYer, you could probably do it yourself. So once you get one of these installed to your main grid's power, this is how you're gonna be able to get power out of it. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna get one of these included SS250P cables, and then one end is gonna go straight into your output here, and then the other end, it'll go into the AC in port. You're now receiving the energy from your home's main grid straight into this walrus. Now you can see it's charging and we got AC in turned on. And you can see that the little electrical stubs here show that we are now connected using AC grid power. The reason why the walrus is so special is because it does have a built-in inverter, right? So we also put in these the 110 and 220 volt outlets on the front. So in case you just needed to plug anything in directly, you can just plug them straight into here and you can get power directly out of these outlets. But if you're trying to use this on your home for either daily use or as a power backup, there's a couple ways you can do this. So on this side, we also got the similar NEMA type port here. This is the AC output. Same type of cable, opposite ends as this, go straight into here. Now what we did here to be able to help everybody save money or use this as a power backup, there's a couple ways you can install this, right? So we have a sub panel here. Now your home is not gonna have this right away. So you might have to get one of these installed in your home. This sub panel is not directly connected to your main electrical panel. All it does is it has these breakers that would be connected and wired up to your home like we have here virtually. And then we have this generator port. So again, some of you electricians or DIYers might know this is just a simple uh, S2 generator port. So you take the same type of cable, the SS250P, you go straight from the walrus output, and then you wire it back up to this generator port. Once it's coming in through here, it's now connected to the sub panel that's then wired up to your home. And this is how you're gonna be able to control your power in your home. Now, if you were doing this off grid, you might need one of these to be able to wire it up to the house and then use the same type of cable to be getting the power out. Now, if you don't wanna go the whole sub panel route, this is gonna be best for daily use and saving money on your electricity bill. Now, if you wanna go solar, we made it super simple. You're just gonna need one of these blue Anderson cables here. So if you look over to the side panel here, we already have the PV input on this walrus. So all you'll need to do is you're gonna take the blue Anderson cable, which will be included with your walrus. We plug it straight into here, and it already has the positive and negative cables that you can use to wire up directly to your solar panels. Now, the reason why we can go directly to the solar panels is because the walrus already has a built-in charge controller. So it'll be able to handle the direct current coming from your solar panels to be able to charge the walrus. Now to get the power out of the walrus, you'll still use the NEMA AC output cable, wire it back up to your sub panel, and that's how you'll be able to get the power out of here for some of you going off grid. There it is. That's how you install the walrus plug and play system. Go over to batteryo.com and get one today.